All right, afternoon. How's everybody doing? Okay, all right, well, grinding away here. Uh, obviously, a um, little bit of a mix of days for us here, kind of between a Wednesday and a Thursday as we work on our uh, preparation towards uh, towards the game. A um, lot of things to kind of review here with the Bears and what they've done the last several weeks and, and the improvements that they've made. They've still got a lot of great players, uh, you know, moving some guys around, putting some guys in different positions, a little bit of different things that they're doing on offense and uh, a couple different looks on defense. So a lot for us to kind of decipher here as we go through on a short week. But uh, we know how dangerous they are. We know how many great players they have. And uh, for us right now, just kind of pushing through, trying to get the game plan put together uh, so we can go out there and hopefully play, um, you know, at a high level. Uh, we'll be walking through today, obviously, you know, with the short week and only a couple of days coming off the game. Uh, we got a lot of guys that are still really sore right now um, on the short week. Uh, guys, I would say, again, this estimate for us uh, that would be out would be Hall, Agnew, uh, Rashawn, Melvin. Um, obviously, Stafford's limited with, you know, everything that we're doing with him. So it's the same, same uh, status quo as far as that's concerned. Um, the other guys, we'll see, you know, kind of what, what everybody can do. I mean, it's kind of a walkthrough pace. So from that standpoint, uh, there's, you know, easier mental reps to kind of get, you know, all the way across the board. So we'll keep pushing as we get towards Thursday. Uh, generally, in a normal week, uh, you know, guys are still a little bit sore on Wednesdays. They feel pretty good on Thursday, you know, coming off of a game. So that's what we're trying to go by, uh, just the normal um, acclimation of the week after a Sunday game. Uh, yeah. Stream, some rest. How, how is he? How is he feeling? Do you expect him to? He's pretty sore still today. You know, we were talking about it this morning, but um, he's walking around better, which is good. Um, you know, ran a lot uh, on Sunday, so but you know, talk to him and just try to get a gauge for how he feels. Um, be a good day for us, though, from that standpoint, from a mental prep. You know, to be able to go out and just kind of go through communication and calls, and um, our offense has quite a quite a bit of verbiage with it too. So you know, sometimes it's just getting getting the calls out, and getting used to some of the calls, and making sure that everybody in the huddle hears it correctly. That's really important for us, also. I know him getting some first team reps helped him. Um, you know, when he was acclimated yep. to the, the offense, do you do that with David Blau this week to get him ready in case? Yep. Yeah, absolutely. And, um, you know, we've actually done that with David before, too. You know, we put him in certain situations. We have, like, different team periods throughout practice. Normally when we're out there, we'll have competitive periods against offense versus defense, uh, along with our, um, you know, preparation periods that we that we use each week. And we like to uh, take those different, um, you know, different kind of chances during the week to mix up some of the – um, the huddles and you know who's out there and who's not. We do it really at all positions, and certainly um, you know Blau is one of those guys that's important for us to do that with too. Yep. Just one of the guys you didn't mention was Trey Flowers. Is he? Yeah. Is he so he's in concussion before? protocol still, um, working through that. But um, you know we're you know just hoping all the timelines hit with all that. Yep. So to be clear, I mean, do you anticipate at this point Jeff being available on Thursday, or is that? I mean, it's really day by day for us because of the short week. You know, and, I, and again, just having that communication with him, I think he's doing everything he can so that he can get out there. But we'll see uh, when we get to that point. That's why we're just, you know, taking it uh, one step at a high, one step at a time. And the good thing for us is it's really walk through pace. I don't know if we were in a full practice today. How much, you know? I mean, obviously he can stand in the pocket, he can throw, he can do all those things. There's no issues there. So it just would be uh, some of the things that we would want to build around around that that we would have to take a look at. Just to be clear, then, for some reason Jeff can't play on Thursday. You would probably have to sign a quarterback, right? Uh, well, our roster is at 53 right now, and we obviously, you know, on a short week, we have two quarterbacks. Um, not that, you know, besides Matthew Stafford, that are on the roster. So from that standpoint, you know, we're we're always preparing that both of those guys are ready to go, just like we did last week. Would Would Logan Thomas be, uh, I guess, an uh, emergency option if you? Really needed one. We have a couple emergencies out there just in case. Um, you know, we always do that anyways. Just when you activate only two for the game, uh, just in general, uh, you make sure that you're always kind of have a third in mind. Um, you know, from that standpoint, sometimes it's running back positions, tight end position. Obviously, Logan with his background is uh, you know a pretty good possibility in there too from that standpoint. But um, really, you do that on game days, uh, just in general. You know, in case something happens. You're doing these these practices at a walkthrough pace. I, I don't know if tomorrow's similar, but um, is is it a little bit more difficult to kind of gauge a, a physical readiness of a player when you're not going at yeah. that full speed tempo? Yeah, I would agree. I would really agree with that. It's one of the things that, you know, for us during the week, even as we push. Uh, on a normal week, we're trying to get some sort of gauge on a Friday. You know what a what a player where a player is at from that standpoint. Even if it's a, a couple team reps and just kind of see them move around a little bit. Um, we'll we'll do some light jogging today just to kind of flush out the systems and get the, the muscles ready to go from that standpoint. That's important for us through the course of the week, but nothing that's really that strenuous uh, on the body just because it is such a short week. So um, I do think that is a little bit of a of a challenge.
So when you're looking for an emergency quarterback, how many guys on the roster tell you they can? Hundred percent. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so I think we got about seven quarterbacks currently, uh, three on offense and maybe four on defense that also go out there, uh, you know, on Fridays and like to show me how far they can throw and how accurate and uh, you know how good all that stuff is. So yeah, we get we get those tryouts quite a bit. Yeah, I mean, Mule, I mean, we might have to just let him snap it downfield. It'll be pretty good too. He's pretty accurate, so um, it is. Though you, you'll get everybody coming up and be like, you know, feel good today, coach. I'm like, great. Uh, go, go run that route, please. So, yeah. It's that Colin Kaepernick's team possibly thought that you, that Detroit was one of the two teams that was actually interested in working out. How much, how much truth is there to that, and is there any interest? In you know, again, we were um, definitely one of the teams that were at the workout, you know. Um, so for us, um, I think that will just probably, you know, leave it at that. We kind of leave our, our standard with all the workouts that we do. We do a lot of workouts uh, during the course of the week and during the course of the season. So I'll just kind of, um, you know, just leave it at that. Miles had a, a unique snap situation uh, last week. He played 16 snaps. Somehow they were all in coverage. I don't know if that was, was really the plan for him, but um, it's the most he's played in, in a couple of years. Just wondering how, how he looked. I know you really liked what he did this, this offseason. Yeah. Yep, I think um, – you know, he did a really good job during training camp. I think he built a lot of confidence in himself and, and certainly through myself and the coaching staff uh, that um, he was ready to go in some of the packages that we had. We've actually had him up in different packages through the course of the season and um, based on some of the games and where it's gone, um, you know, hasn't got out there. Maybe defensively, obviously plays a lot of snaps for us, special teams wise, and he's an integral part of what we do there. Um, but certainly this week with, um, you know, excuse me, last week on Sunday with the injuries that we had, um, you know, he was, uh, we needed him in some of those packages and I thought he stepped in and did a really good job uh, as far as that's concerned. So uh, he's always ready to go. He's a great student of the game. I think his confidence is at a high level, uh, understanding, you know, kind of year two of, of the defense and some of the things that we were asking him to do in, in different roles uh, and different alignments. Um, I just think he feels comfortable with that. So we, we practice it that way during the week, too. Um, you know, the great thing for us is when we have normal weeks of practice, we use those uh, opportunities, and we call them show teams, the look teams, to be able to get guys in certain positions, uh, maybe positions that they don't normally play, and kind of give them some reps and some experience um, in those positions, you know, based on a card or what a look or something like that. And we can use those evaluation points also in miles as someone that we can put in a lot of different alignment spots. And that just, you know, continually builds that confidence for us that he can go out in any situation and be able to help us. Uh, certainly on a game day roster where, you know, if you have a couple injuries, you're in trouble. Those are probably more important on our end, linebacker and safety. Yeah. Isn't he really kind of a, a hybrid of those two at this point? Yeah, I would say it's probably accurate. I mean, he's kind of got skill set for both of those, depending on some of the different things that we do. Sure. Yep. Just before about young players, so when teams see them, things they have to adjust and things get tougher for them. What yeah. about, it's only two games, what about both in a case like that? Yeah. They, they've seen him. Yeah, and I mean, I think it's really, it's true. You know, Bo, and I would say uh, same thing with Jeff last week, too. You know, I mean, I just think there's different things that um, TJ in the beginning part of the year carry on last year. You know, it's kind of why, you know, you just hesitate to have too many conversations about those guys and, and not help uh, opponents figure out who they are ahead of time. You know, you try to let the opponents figure it out on their own. Uh, but certainly, I think, you know, you watch Bo run and you watch some of the things that he did um, last week. Um, you know, he's, he's, he's running really hard, you know, he's running really hard. And I think that's great for us. And certainly there's things on film that we uh, continually try to correct and improve that we see from, from his game that um, we know can get better too. So from that aspect of it, we're trying to do our part to, to continually help him, you know, week by week, knowing that, um, you know, those guys will hone in on some certain things, uh, maybe a little bit more strictly as, as the weeks go. Yeah, I'm glad you carried on players. Uh, will Harris, um, he's been out there with a month now, I think. Uh, yeah. What have you seen from him? Yeah. Um, I mean, I think, you know, he's done a really good job for us. Um, <clears throat> I would say one of the biggest things for him, and I think maybe we talked about this before, is just how consistent consistent he is every single day when he comes in the building and how he learns and how he's progressed as a player. Uh, for me, I think one of the really neat things was last week in the game, uh, there was a play that we gave up early in the game. It was kind of a... Uh, a shot up the sideline to the receiver, and, and um, you know he was in the in the deep part of the field, maybe a step or two away from making the play. They were able to convert it. They ran the same play later in the game, and uh, he did an outstanding job getting there and making the play and getting the receiver out of bounds. And just kind of that in-game sort of, okay, hey, I see it once. I'm able to go out there and defend it the second time. Um, that was really important, I think, for me to be able to see that and that progression from him. You know, I thought that was that's a big step uh, for a young player to be able to do that within the game. So many subtleties between playing tight end and fullback yeah. and that H back. He was back there. It seemed like he 
the alignment's obviously the biggest, you know, most critical thing. I think uh, when you're an on-the-line player or kind of an end-of-the-line player from that standpoint, the vision of the game's a little bit different. When you move behind the line of scrimmage, um, a lot more opens up and a lot more maybe uh, confusing from that standpoint. You know, the moving parts are much more difficult. I think he tried to do a great job of, uh, you know, the different roles that we had him in and, and went out and he played physical and played aggressive. Um, I think a big part of that, too, is that maybe I mentioned after the game was uh, just kind of settling down into the game maybe a little bit quicker and, you know, uh, it's his first game, so you know you're going to get a little bit of that. But uh, I thought he's, you know, another good young player for us that um, stepped into a role that may be a little bit unique, uh, a little bit maybe not necessarily um, the normal stuff that he does. And I thought he tried to do it at a high level. So that's another real positive for us, uh, you know, as we push forward to see guys be able to uh, have that flexibility or cross train like that from that standpoint. Question about Thanksgiving and kind of like the fan base. I know a couple weeks ago when the Cowboys fans kind of took over. <coughs> and now with the team dropping the game to Washington, how do you just make sure that you get those fans in there and get them engaged and supporting you and, and just making sure that the pride for the Lions Thanksgiving game remains in check? Sure. Um, well, I mean, I mean, for us, we're going to obviously try to go out and um, play as hard as we can. We know how important this game is, and we know um, how important it is to obviously our organization, our ownership, and obviously the fans. Uh, it's a great privilege to be in this game. You know, for us, we understand that. We're very blessed to be here, and, um, you know, I think Thanksgiving is a great time. It's a great week to reflect everybody, and I'm sure all of us uh, need to make a couple phone calls this week and just, you know, thank people that have helped us through the course of our lives to be where we are. Um, you know, we all didn't get here on our own, so there's certainly people out there, and uh, we, we like to remind the players of that also, and I think for us, um, you know, one of the biggest thanks uh, that we have to make sure that we give out is to the fans, you know, the people that support us, the people that follow us, and uh, obviously we're trying to do everything we can to, uh, to make everybody proud and, uh, you know, make the rest of the day great too, not just the morning. So uh, we're going to do everything we can there. Matt, do you worry it might be a hostile environment, though, with all the chatter that's going on from the fan base? Um, I really just, we focus on the game and trying to make sure that we go out and play uh, the best game that we can. We know how great our fans are and, and um, you know, certainly from that aspect of it, uh, we're hopefully going to keep them cheering in the right direction. Thank you. Thank yep, you. sure. Yep.